The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar by Solution Exchange. The title today is Safe Maintenance Fees and Administration, Efficient PDF Storage with KGS Content Server for Storage. We are very happy you could attend and hope you find this topic of interest to you and your organization. My name is Kristen Gerling and I will be your host throughout the session. Let's talk about a few administrative items up front. Um, our presentation today will take about 30 minutes with 10 minutes reserved for questions at the end. We will conclude with a quick summary and we'll spend some time on answering your questions um, after this presentation. A few procedural and technical notes. All participants are on mute during the full duration of the webinar. Please post any questions or concerns through the questions function in your administration panel on the right side of your screen. Should you not be able to hear us or cannot see the presentation, please also alert us through the question panel. We will be happy to send out transcripts to those who are interested after the webinar. Please let us know through an email at info at solutionexchange.com. That is info at solutionxchg.com. We also have three handouts um, for you that you can download. They're shown on the administration panel with a download function as well. But um, without much further ado, let's dive right into the topic. Our speaker today will be my business partner, Jochen Hager. Jochen, would you like to introduce yourself, please? Hi, everybody. Thank you very much, Kristen, for the introduction. Uh, I will guide you through our topic presentation today. And uh, we're specifically speaking about how large organizations can save on maintenance fees and administration costs by uh, picking a more efficient PDF document storage. And we showcase how they can do that with the KGS Content Server for Storage. Uh, our uh, alternate title for the presentation is Intelligent SAP uh, Content Management, uh, showcasing a modern SAP archive, uh, talking about efficient SAP archiving and how you can achieve significant savings. Uh, the uh, e ECM market has changed a lot over the last uh, few years or even decades. Technology is never at a standstill in systems that uh, cost hundreds of thousands of dollars a few years uh, or maybe 10 years ago uh, can, can be uh, purchased for just a fraction of the cost with, with you know, better features, le less administrative overhead, and, uh, and many other benefits. And the big question is, are you, uh, is your organization really taking advantage of all the market has to offer or you're stuck with technology that uh, has been designed to 20 years ago and hasn't been updated that much over the last couple of years? Uh, many of the solutions that were purchased a long time ago are oversized for the actual needs. The uh, proposed company rollout that um, actually uh, justified the investment, the huge investment into a large ECM product never really happened. Um, and and uh, you, you are still overpaying for that type of uh, functionality and service by uh, paying uh, a, a fifth or a quarter in maintenance fee every year. In addition, to missing out on these cost savings, you might not even be future ready because the architecture you are using today is too heavy to be moved into the cloud. Uh, and with that uh, prohibits further cost savings that you could achieve by taking something that is on premise today in your organization and pushing it into the cloud tomorrow. Um, the significant cost disadvantages uh, 
let's look at them in, in a little bit more detail. A lot of it has to do with uh, complex administration functions, uh, specifically uh, multi-tier server architecture, uh, separate uh, web servers that are required uh, to run in connection with an enterprise content management system, hardware support fees for operating systems you're paying. Uh, many of these older, heavier systems require multiple operating systems because they run on multiple servers. So you need to pay Microsoft server fees uh, for a number of machines. A lot of them use databases, uh, which are cost heavy and uh, require additional maintenance and administration. Uh, and uh, the overall maintenance of the content management solution itself is uh, multifaceted and in many cases for an SAP archive, way too complicated. In addition, what you should consider is that 80% of the average IT uh, company's IT budget is spent on keeping the lights on. In other words, you spend 80% of your budget just to keep the uh, existing applications running and your budgets are not increasing year over year. So in order to free up funds for new technology and investment, it becomes very necessary to reduce the spending on, on established technology. And you can do that by uh, replacing an established technology through a simpler, more standardized and slicker solution than what you might have in your arsenal today. Um, when you select such a system, you need to make sure the new system is uh, up to snuff and following all of today's standard. You have to look at migration because migration has to be fast and risk-free. You want to realize significant savings, so pick a system that is really, from an architecture perspective, way more simpler than what you have today. And you want to reduce or repurpose existing hardware that you have in place today. Sometimes that means you can all, almost or only put it on the in, in, um, on the junkyard. Uh, uh, even if that has to happen, uh, it, it makes sense to, to simplify your architecture just to get rid of another headache. If you have multiple VM servers or systems, you can reduce the load on your VM farm and with that, reduce your hardware requirements. In our example solution, let's look at uh, the different software layers. At the top, we have um, in our storage layer, the KGS content server for storage layer in connects to SAP Archive Link or BC ILM to the SAP system on top of this pyramid. Uh, the KGS system then communicates uh, to the lower tier uh, it, with a file system communication architecture. And um, in order to create a compliant service architecture, you should consider to use something like an Eternity ICAS product that safeguards your uh, documents in a simulated file system structure. So that uh, Eternity ICAS uh, layer uh, consumes or presents to the above KGS content server a file system structure. It consumes hard disk storage or any type of mass uh, storage and allows you to, um, to store the documents safely and keep a retention date on it and make sure that the documents are not deleted without uh, being expired. Uh, looking at uh, specifically the um, architecture we're, we're uh, showcasing here. And um, in this architecture slide, we specifically look at the architecture of a more complicated enterprise content management system and uh, replace that with the simplified architecture of the KGS content server for storage. If we look at the more complicated system, and, and this is just an example here, we can uh, maybe we can we have multiple modules, a web module, an archive link module, a storage module, a database module, a separate database, which could be an Oracle, MySQL, or DB2 
database. And then you have the actual storage, which is uh, the a jukebox uh, in very old cases. Those are mostly gone, I have to admit, or e EMC Centero or some Sun storage, NetApp storage that is connected here. And if you look at the scenario with the KGS content server for storage, that architect architecture is vastly simplified. A simple Java module that connects directly to the storage, no database needed, and uh, uh, not a multitude of servers and storage module. So everything on one machine uh, with uh, a simple web service architecture. The uh, KGS software, of course, is fully certified. Uh, it's recertified every year. Um, the 2019 certification is in progress right now. So I'm showcasing the 2018 certificates here. Uh, certification uh, happens for the SAP Archive Link framework as well as uh, for the VCILM um, uh, scenario that allows uh, to support uh, SAP ILM functionality. Uh, a lot of well-known names in the industry use this particular KGS content server for storage. A few examples we have here are HP, BMW, Nalco, Ecolab, um, SAP itself in its service labs uses it, Volvo, PepsiCo, Ricola, uh, Lanxess, Lufthansa. There is a, a, a variety of household names that uh, trust this technology and have been using it for many years. And uh, you might ask a very important question, you know, how do I transition from my existing archive to a new archive? How do I get my data across? Because you can't just, you know, rip out the management software and plug back in the, the storage component and hope it magically works. Unfortunately, data has to be transferred. Uh, but that is also a big opportunity to look at the type of data you have today and maybe do an upgrade on that as well on the fly. Uh, the KGS solution offers uh, convenient and very powerful migration tools that are fast and risk reduced. Uh, uh, companies that have used these tools and successfully done large migrations with it are Dow Chemicals doing an open text documentum replacement um, into a virtualized cloud ready architecture um, specifically choosing SAP ILM capabilities over open text, uh, but specifically replacing an, an outdated documentum archive with a more streamlined service architecture. Um, PG uh, Procter and Gamble has done a large global archive replacement for eight connected SAP instances and a migration of 28 terabytes of data. Uh, a huge migration, and they have been running this successfully in a very uh, streamlined and very uh, low maintenance architecture for the last uh, uh, 10 plus years. Wells Fargo consolidated different archives from OpenText and an SAP Content Server archive to a new FileNet corporate ECM system, and they migrated all files without any downtime for users. So there was no noticeable system outage for the users other than uh, uh, during a minimal service window for about 25 to 30 minutes when the overall system was down for maintenance. That's when we switched over to the new architecture and uh, in, par in parallel in the background migrated all the files as necessary. Um, so these, this is all very interesting, but you might want to ask, you know, uh, who else has done it and, and how did they do it and what is involved and what kind of prompted uh, them to do it? Now, let's look at a large manufacturing customer and their example here, an international business operation, the company, uh, a company split prompted also an archive split and uh, they, uh, at this point in time, opted to, to gain significant savings for both organizations, reduced hardware cost, reduced hardware maintenance, reduced operating cost, no more database cost, reduced storage cost, overall total cost of ownership down significantly. Uh, so, um, 
what are some of the parameters of this uh, project? Uh, accomplishments included a migration of 29 million documents in less than eight weeks uh, with a complete history on uh, written on all the documents, uh, a, a document uh, movement file database was written that explains uh, in very detail for uh, for for any um, regulatory requirements what happened to every single document uh, they did, did this with close to zero business impact um, they were able to cut their annual maintenance cost in half which is very impressive uh, given the high cost of one of some of these legacy systems. And they uh, were able to improve, uh, do a couple of improvements during the changeover. They added security for, their, um, ex for some of the data that was exposed to the World Wide Web. And they switched to a VMware architecture that allows them to move the whole system into the cloud, as well as put them put it conveniently on in-house server farms. Uh, we verified over 20 business applications to work successfully with a new archiving solution. And uh, we did this as a full service project, uh, meaning uh, the customer ha didn't have to worry anything uh, about anything, uh, solution exchange and our skilled personnel took care of all the different aspects of the project from actual implementation to running the migration tasks to verifying that everything works as intended. So the KGS migration for Archive Link is a tool that is available either separately or in conjunction with a switch to the uh, mic to the content server for storage. It's one of the best available solutions on the market. Very unique approach with high performance. Uh, um, parameters. It is definitely a best fit for all SAP uh, compliant systems and is fully certified for SAP Archive Link. In addition, uh, we uh, used a tool which is called the Solution Exchange ACC, and there is a similar tool in the KGS content or in the KGS migration program. But um, this particular tool, the Solution Exchange ACC, has additional functionality that allows us to connect. Um, various archiving requirement, uh, various archives in um, a sort of a proxy functionality. Uh, this allows us to take the incoming call from SAP and first route it to the primary archive. If the document can't be found there, it goes to the secondary archive. And um, uh, if, if it's not there, uh, it could go to an optional third, second leg uh, third archive, which I call the uh, second legacy archive down there in my uh, graph. It seamlessly integrates with SAP. It uh, is uh, capable of, of fulfilling and uh, passing through all security mechanisms um, available by SAP, whether that is HTTPS or actually uh, SAP SEC keys, uh, SAP signed URLs. Um, this tool, as I said before, is plugged in between the SAP system and your uh, new production archive and legacy archive and brokers calls from one um, from SAP to either the legacy archive or the new production archive. And with that allows an immediate switch to your new architecture, whether that is with a KGS content server or whether that is with any other content servers that are out there uh, available in the market. So a very handy tool to solve a big headache and make the uh, migrations completely transparent. It also serves as a tool that can be used after migrations to allow, excuse me for a second, um, allows to uh, seamlessly to seamlessly access non-production archives for regression and integration testing, in addition to um, supporting any migrations. Uh, Solution Exchange um, offers a full set of expertise from business process analysis to SAP 
uh, module customizing to project management for uh, document management implementation projects, enterprise content management know-how, and much more. We support a number of different um, software products from KGS, Eternity, uh, TJC, our own solutions that we and tools that we just highlighted, uh, and uh, PBS software. We have been uh, showcasing innovative software products um, in the US market for uh, many years now. We've been in business for over 10 years. We have, uh, as individuals, more than 20 years of SAP archiving and document management expertise, and we are a premier reseller and system integrator in the US for KGS. We're also an Eternity resell and agent since 2010. And we specialize on low-cost, high-quality, high ROI add-on solutions from selected vendors. Uh, please visit our website. You will find a lot of interesting information on it. And you can also download a test version of the Solution Exchange ACC free of charge for a 30-day trial if uh, you are interested in that particular functionality to connect your test and uh, quality control systems. This concludes the uh, presentation portion of the webinar. We are now opening up the lines for questions. And I would like to hand back to Kristen and see if we have any questions today. Thank you, Jochen. Um, yes, we do. Um, and I will start with the first one. And please feel free to post more questions um, if you have. The first one is, do I still need a content server solution when I move my SAP system to S4HANA? Yes, uh, you still need a content server solution. There is, uh, um, in S4HANA, the connectivity stays the same. There is still um, SAP Archive Link as the primary connector, um, specifically when we, and, and this is only true if you talk, talking s hana in either a, um, a hosted environment or an on-premise environment. Uh, that same is not true for the s hana Cloud Edition. That uh, has uh, different connectivities in that particular case. Everything is controlled by SAP, and you would have to talk to SAP to understand what the options are for document management. But in the, in the regular... Um, uh, S for HANA installations, uh, you can definitely continue to use a content server. This is actually moving to S for HANA is an ideal point in time to really evaluate your um, system and significantly save money by not only moving to S for HANA, but also consider migrating your content server environment and uh, update it, save money with it, and uh, be ready all around with a brand new architecture um, as, as part of your greenfield, brownfield, or, or bluefield implementation. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Then the next question, would not a migration through SAP be better than um, through doing it through an external system? Um, a very interesting question. There, there is some functionality available uh, based on uh, SAP tools. If, over the years, we've talked with multiple companies that decided to either build their own or work with uh, some script somebody had or had programmed a while ago, or played around with. And we have had many competitors claiming that they can do the same we, we do with the content server uh, uh, the KGS uh, migration tool. Uh, most of the stories I've heard are overhyped in the beginning. I heard, for example, stories where migrations then were based on such a tool, but took months uh, in the neighborhood of nine to 12 months for a, a single migration process. And who wants to do that? Uh, migrations that are done with the KGS migration tool 
even very large ones, like the ones we showcased here for 28 million documents, were finished in eight weeks. That's no time. And uh, just so the whole pr uh, project duration is uh, maybe three to four months, but, but uh, uh, doing a migration over uh, longer than uh, half a year is just crazy. So um, the KGS tool can run uh, multiple instances with multiple threads and is highly scalable. And with that, uh, from a performance perspective, has no impact on your SAP system and been, can be scaled up as fast as your legacy system can take it and as fast as your network capacity allows us to go. Um, definitely a big plus. Thank you. Okay, great. Um, <clears throat> that concludes the, the question portion of our webinar today. We thank you very much for attending and hope you enjoyed the topic. And um, until next time, we'll say goodbye. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. And uh, if you can't want to contact us, please uh, shoot us an email, connect with us on our website, or um, give us a call. Until next time, thank you. Bye-bye.